Welcome back to Punta Cana, all you can see. Welcome to a pizza night. We are going to non-solo pizza tonight. And uh, the only thing that's holding us up is the new traffic light that we have here in Friusa. It's only there for a couple of weeks, but it already caused some chaos. There's only one side green at a time and everybody else has to wait with the traffic that we have passing through here. Uh, that's a hard task. So everybody tries to bypass it somehow, which even creates more chaos. We are here on a Sunday night, so there's not so much traffic. Every other day, we just try to go around it. We are going to Non Solo Pizza, so we gotta go straight. You see the gas station, the Texaco, to the right and to the left. You turn into El Oyo, but we just cross over here and then drive straight until we come to the Ferreteria Belon. A Ferreteria, by the way, is a hardware store. You see, traffic is not too bad once you crossed. And there you can see to the left, there's already the pizza sign green, white and red pizza and this is Ferreteria Belon, this is where you turn. You have to turn left one more time, it's not in the videos but I showed to you on the map just in a minute. Non solo pizza and Charlie's gonna read the menu to you. Pizzetta, margarita, napoli, queso y jamón, jamón y hongos, pepperoni, vegetariana, salchicha, Capricciosa, cuatro stagioni, siciliana, hawaiana, y mucho más. Y mucho más. Now this requires a little explanation. I ordered red wine and they had it, but the boys wanted beer and they did not have beer. So they called the colmado and asked if they have beer. The guy in the red shirt, by the way, he is from the colmado. The colmado is a little store around almost every corner that has everything. So they ordered the beer there and uh, everybody has delivery, so they brought the beer. Charlie forgot his cigarette, so you ask if uh, he can bring him cigarettes too. And since it's only around the corner, there is another one coming just right after this one. There he is, and he's bringing the cigarettes. I find this very cool and very convenient. Many times in the Dominican Republic, you can if they don't have it, you can just ask if there is a Colmado close and you can go by yourself or as well all of them have delivery or almost everybody has delivery and then they bring it to you if you're a restaurant or if you're a private person. So that's cool. Belkis, she is the owner's wife. She is uh, as well a very good pizza cook, I have to say. Um, I like it when she's preparing the pizza as well. She is a very nice and friendly woman. The pizza is Italian as the owner as well is Italian and he taught Belkis everything that he knew and look at this. It's just a small place so they only have a small oven and that's a reason why not all the pizzas come at the same time and as well the reason why we do not wait until everybody got his plate. It's not bad education, it's just the desire to eat hot. It's very common here in Dominican Republic, happened uh, to us in many restaurants that the food is not coming at the same time. So if you don't want to eat uh, cold, that's what you do. You just start when you get your plate. It's really rare that you find uh, tourists walking around this neighborhood. It's uh, on the other side of the beach and all the hotels. And a lot of people that work in tourism, they live here. The pizza place, oh look at this pizza. That's Frutti di Mare. And Charlie has, of course, uh, salami, which here is pepperoni. Yeah, so a lot of people live here that work in tourism. You have a lot of motorbikes coming and they have a lot of delivery. So many times uh, someone comes to pick up a pizza, a delivery guy or people order and pick it up themselves. So on Google, you will see it in a minute. You find the phone number and if you don't want to go and you don't require a hot pizza like us because delivery always takes a while, then you can also call and they deliver the pizza to you. 
talking about Google, Google as well can bring you here, of course. I just Googled it for you. So there you see non solo pizza. To the left, you see how it looks during the day, the address and the phone number. Download WhatsApp when you come here because they do a lot of WhatsApp and they require your direction via WhatsApp. Let's make it a little bit smaller. This is the gas station where we just crossed the red light and where you go to the oil. So, see over there is the ocean. For reference, there is a Gran Palladium Resort that's in El Cortecito. Remember, if you have an apartment, El Cortecito or Los Corrales, that's the road you're driving. We have already been to Delicias de Bavaro. You would drive here, cross over the highway, turn at the gas station, turn at Belon, and then let's make it a little bit bigger. Once you're on the, once you turned in Belon, you drive down the Avenida Goyacanes until you turn here into Non Solo Pizza. Ask Google, Google will bring you there. You maybe know how it is. Everything is a little bit more expensive here now, like uh, when I see the news all over the world, all prices are going up and so are the prices for pizza too. So when you come, might you have different prices than we have now because it's, uh, well, it's crazy right now. We all know that. But for me, if you have the money, the pizza is worth it. If you, uh, I like it better to come here than uh, to have it delivered. But as well, you can use delivery. This is us leaving the place, coming back to the main road. There is a pizza sign again at the Ferreteria. And I'm taking you once again to the intersection to have a look at it. If you don't like the pizza, if you like a Mexican, check this out here to the left where you see the lights. That's a Mexican. He is there for many years too, so I believe he's good. Plaza Canet. And then here Plaza Progreso begins where we have a lot of banks, just in case you need a bank. Many of them have an office here. And then I just saw that it's funny when you're coming here to the intersection. Remember, it's Sunday night. It's not so much traffic. Any other day, it's probably at least double. One is coming from the, from the gas station already. He didn't want it to wait. And you will see in front of us, there is one car getting out of the line. He tries to go over the gas station as well because, well, he thinks it's faster. Remember, only one side has green, but now everybody else is driving there and he has to wait. But nevertheless, the second one is trying. <laughs> you know that he went over the red light because he was coming from straight and they have a red light right now. Yeah, this is why we recommend uh, be careful when you drive here, have your eyes open and uh, well, then you can do it. For now, I uh, thank you for watching. I hope you like the little introduction in our first of all favorite pizza place and second a little bit how it works here in the Dominican Republic. So once you come here, maybe you decide to stay a little bit longer. You're not surprised that it's not exactly as it is at home. That said, I see you again in the next video, hopefully with a new adventure. I'm planning one. I uh, just have to see with the weather, with the friends I want to go, if it uh, checks out. And then we are going to chase waterfalls again. Until then, have a nice weekend and I see you again here at Punta Cana, all you can see.